We're in the Sebastian River Area Chamber of Commerce, and I am with Beth Mitchell. She is the Executive Director of the Chamber here. Hello, yep. Beth. Hi, it's good to see you. Okay, awesome. And um, would you mind giving us, starting with a tour of the facility, is that okay? That would be terrific. Awesome. You are standing in the visitor center. This section of our office is dedicated towards people that are in the area that are visiting and they come in here looking for information about the things that they want to do. So let's get started. Awesome. Normally what we do, is the first thing when somebody walks through the door is find out why they're here and we give them our visitor's guide. Awesome. Um, we print 25,000 of these and distribute them throughout the state, the country. 25,000. 25,000. This is a walking and driving tour of the Sebastian River area. Oh. It includes uh, an insert with all of the activities that are on our riverfront okay. um, on Indian River Drive. And the map also takes you out to Fellsmere. Um, so th this chamber covers um, our geographical areas from Grant in from the north uh -huh. out to Fellsmere and down to Wabasso. Oh, so okay. Most of our materials and everything that we have here is is in that particular That's region. That's a huge area, though. That's it is. Huge. It is since 1958. 1958. Yeah. On the back side, our visitors get a list of um, all of our restaurants, uh, all the boating and captains that they want to go fishing with, and pontoon boats and airboat rides. And then what we do is we start them with this, and we try and find out what their interests are. We take them over here. So you would ask then at that point, oh, is there anything specifically right. that you're interested in doing right. while in the Sebastian area? Right. Okay. Right. And then we are loaded up with information. These are all of our lodging members. Um, when people are looking for a place to stay, we have menus from every restaurant that belongs to the chamber. And um, in the area, you definitely have probably uh, high-end hotels and some mm -hmm. low, little mom and pop. We um, have it all. Okay. We do. Uh, we have a lot of information, not just for tourists. Um, the community uses us as a resource as well. And people uh, that are relocating to the area will come in here and they'll get maps and phone books and uh, information about city services and you know when the garbage gets picked up and okay. where's the post office and things like that. This is Brittany Falk. She is our information specialist and she's the first person that people see when they walk through the door. First person you see. <laughs> An information specialist is the person who knows the answers to everything and if I don't know the answer I know where to find it. I get questions all the time about you know, doctor's phone numbers, multiple, multiple phone calls for doctor's phone numbers. I get things about, you know, where can I take my cat when he's sick? I mean, all kinds of different phone calls and crazy, crazy, interesting things. <laughs> wait, 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 I have a specific question that she probably has the answer for. Where did you buy that barbecue sandwich with that you were eating yesterday? Riverfront Chill and Grill. Oh, oh she had barbecue sauce all on her face. It was so good. <laughs> and it was worth every drop of barbecue sauce. <laughs> Indian River Drive is really popping in terms of it, it's kind of coming into its own, if you will. Um, we have a, a, a number of new establishments along the riverfront, um, starting with Mulligan's, which is now in place a year, uh, Susie's Tiki Bar, which I think is going to be renamed the Tiki Bar, I'm not real sure, um, and Riverfront Grill and Chill, where Brittany had her lunch. That's another new establishment, and in addition to that, the city's been working on uh, the working the Stan Mayfield Working Waterfront Project with the Hurricane Harbor um, spot. It was purchased by the state and the city, and it's going to be turned into a fishing museum and a um, there's a there's a beautiful. Um, fish market there right now. So there will be a lot of things that are happening. Fresh fish. Seafood. Fe okay. Fresh seafood. Fresh seafood. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you now can purchase a piece of grouper or hog snapper or flounder that has probably been out of the water about eight hours and after you buy it you can either take it home or you can take it to one of the restaurants in our area and they'll cook it up for you. Hey, so. is that good or what? <laughs> that it tastes good, sounds good, and everything that she mentioned is the actual sign of growth and development that's going on in the town of Sebastian. So follow us as we continue to explore Sebastian.